Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Terrace Village. Where I finally managed to get up to the top of this platform. So I can try to get over there. Aha! Oh, that wasn't as far as I thought it was, actually. Yes, that was very doable. Any gems down here? No, just over there. Cool! This one has a lock on it, but you don't open it that way. Huh. Fire! No! Oh, thank you, plant. Ha! Delicious! Then I'll just head back over here. Pat myself on the back for a job well done. Looking back on it, 1998, it was pretty out-of-the-box thinking to even you know, come up with the idea to make a video game where the player character is a fire-breathing dragon. Which I guess you can just go straight over there, huh? was apparently a really good year for gaming. You know, given that it also saw the release of, off the top of my head, Half-Life 1 and uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. That was interesting. He didn't actually go into that animation until I was closer. Hey, he just stopped! Okay, maybe not. But still. I apologize wholeheartedly to all of the fish and other slimy things that live in the water, except for that one, which was apparently, I don't know, electric elect electricity proof is what I'm trying to say. I can't say grounded because it's a fish and that doesn't make any sense you know, being something that lives in water, but, uh, oh, hey, look at that, let's see what those. Forbidden hot dogs. Oh, no, I don't want to jump in that, that's just a regular well. Plus, I can see there's a leaf clipping through it down there, so, you know, contamination in and all that. <laughs> you know, not so much that last level, but for some reason this uh, hub area really reminds me specifically of the swamp level from, uh... Okay, good, it's not sinking or anything. Specifically the swamp level from Legend of K, which I let's play it a few years ago. Bog. Yeah, let's go to the Misty Bog. Oh, no, let's free that guy first. Oh, 
Well, I suppose I should see what they're up to. Yeah, okay. Fine, fine, fine. There. I was right the first time. See, the first time it was because it immediately reversed direction and started moving towards me, but uh, then I felt doubt. <laughs> I mean, it's a PS1 game. Everything that moves is pretty much going to try to kill me, but you know... I decided to make a point of it since I did discuss that I, uh, you know, concept of mine uh, not too long ago. Oh, those exploded. My bad. I did not think that would happen. Oh. Treetops. Oh, that was a chicken. Yeah, this one does look different, okay. This looks like the metal ones, but way more reinforced somehow. Maybe it's because it's got gold corners. Wait, I can't stand on top of this at all? Oh yeah, there's some over here. Oh yeah! Yeah. It's like that, it's bigger and fancier. Pretty sure the lock is way bigger too. Why Nasty Nork has so many different kinds of, uh, chests? And a gruesome death. Oh, well, there's the fucking key. I was hoping there was, you know, literally the ground there, but no, no, no. No, I guess it spawned me over here because, uh... Well, that's where we left off. Okay, back to Misty Bog, then. You see? It starts charging at me. There? I think I can. Hey there. You're free, Cletus. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I gotta go. Yeah, he's got a big lipped alligator moment to uh, attend to. That is a reference so strangely specific, I don't know that I have, uh... ...the wherewithal to fully explain it. I believe it's the name of a trope on TV tropes, though. So they, uh... ...almost certainly have a detailed definition. <laughs> I don't spend a lot of time on that site. Because every time you do, you spend a lot of time on that site. That was weird. What I really wanted to check out was, uh... The hell? I really wanted to go back through that portal over there. I'm not really curious about this. Ah, uh, what the hell. What have I done? <laughs> All right, all right. 
Not looking forward to having to go back and try out the flights more specifically. Immaculately uh, maintained claws, too. the arches then. Maybe I can do those. Shit. I'm told that, uh... You, know, you are supposed to be able to get all of them at once. In one run. So, uh... There's, like, an order to them. They position everything in the levels such that, uh... It's like, oh, we all do this, and then this, and then this. So, uh, you know, there would be, like, a positioning where it's like, the last of the chests is pointed right at the first of the boats, or something. You know, one of those. So once again, I'll walk away with a thing done. But, uh... Yeah, I feel like that I can do that. It's just going to be a lot of trial and error for each one. Maybe I'll go back and do them before I go on to the last world. How many have I been to so far? There was... Come on, brain. Excuse me. Right, there was the Artisan Worlds. There was Peacekeeper Worlds. There was Magic Crafter Worlds, and now I'm in Beast uh, Maker Worlds, so there should be one left. All right, going by the guy in the front who said there were either five or six worlds, but he also said there were either 12,000 uh, or 15,000 gems, so I'm going to go with the first number, he said, in both cases. Yeah, since we know for a fact that... Uh, up in the corner, there are, in fact, 12,000. Misty Bog! Is there a thing here? No. Do whatever. That's what I'm doing here. I didn't want to say you're free now because I might have to come back and eat him later, but you know. The fuck is that? Okay, I can't quite see it from this angle. Yeah, that purple thing over there. What is that? A flag or something. I don't see anything else like that around here. Huh. Looks like a town hall when you're playing as the orcs in early Warcraft games. Oh, God! What are these, like, mud tree monsters, huh? Ooh! I got close enough to know that that guy needed a breath mint. I mean, he never even realized he was free, so... Well, hey, when he responds, he won't be in a cage anymore. Unless the cage also responds. I would feel bad about that. Hmm. Look at that. Well, what the hell are those? Oh, I don't like that. 
My turn. Yeah, I get them when they start rearing re -ring back like that. Sorry about that, I needed to sneeze. Shout out to KOR and TK Driver X for informing me what charbroiling is. It is uh, essentially, according to this comment, grilling without a cover on a rack. Uh, you know, you hold the meat close to the source of heat and you just hold it there until it sizzles. You know, the lines you get on the meat is the result of charbroiling because it's been sitting on a uh, rack. Uh, and also, uh, TK Driver X uh, mentioned, uh, on the topic of needing sparks to magnet gems to you, if you charge chests, gems magnet to you without sparks needing to grab them. I actually learned this small detail from speedrunners. That's very interesting to me. I like that sort of thing. And that makes sense to me, because you're basically charging through the gems as they emerge from the chests. The d delay there was because I couldn't tell whether I was looking at the front or the back of that thing. Oh, see, that was how I was meant to get up here, the trick with the wall. And here I felt very clever. Wait a minute. it kind of weird? It's, yeah, it's probably weirder in 2022 than it was in 1998 that they used the same model for the one-ups inside of those purple uh, shells as they do for those statues that I free the dragons from. Again, it is a remake, so I will pass on uh, you know, complaining. Huh. Uh. I've only seen the one chicken so far. I don't approve uh, approve of that. Wakey wakey, Roscoe. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. I feel like whatever he got that eye from disagrees. Well, I mean, clearly, there. Oh, I can't hit. I can't do the Y look thing here because I'm close to someone I can get Y to talk to. But I'm looking at that platform over there and I'm thinking there's stuff on it. At least there's monsters on it. But I don't know that I can reach that from here, so maybe I will just go over there. Or hey, maybe I'll just kill that guy. I mean, I appreciate you throwing up the horns. I do not appreciate, uh... the fact that you're still going to try to kill me after I killed the boar that was menacing you. Also, why are all these guys either dressed like punks or roadies? I don't think he enjoyed that very much. Huh. They seem to have set something up here. You know what I bet it was? I bet people had trouble uh, figuring out where to go next because it wasn't, you know, uh, part of their normal thinking to just hurl themselves out uh, towards these, like, bits sticking out of the swamp. Ooh. Fish. That's actually kind of neat, considering, you know, there's 
no actual water interaction in this game other than death pits. Most of them don't charge like that. I was not anticipating that method of attack. Ah! Well, there's the timer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... And one to grow on. I mean, I feel like that would be a lot more helpful if there were any chickens on that island. Or maybe when I land on that island, a hidden spring is going to launch me in there. Wait a minute, there is a chicken on that island! Huh. Why isn't it in the cage already? They aren't very smart, chickens. I'm told that if you draw a line on the ground and press a chicken's beak against it, it will become convinced it cannot remove its beak from the line. I do not know if this is true or not, but it does seem to, you know, illustrate how, uh... ...talented chickens are at the art of thinking. <laughs> In the meantime, uh... I don't know why I didn't say I'm going to do something next time, so I don't know why I started with that. Nork rules. Huh. I've been referring to these guys as Norks, but... Is Nasty Nork just the one guy? Singular there, so I'm kind of thinking that, but, uh, whatever. Maybe they put the S on the wrong word. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Spyro the Dragon Reignited. I'm gonna continue working my way through this swamp and, uh, kick some more ass. Later.